And I'm Mark McAllister at Queen's Park, where the fallout continues tonight after news of the green energy projects in the province being cancelled and how much that could potentially cost the taxpayers of this province. The opposition speaking out today, saying that the number that has been floated could be just scratching the surface at this point. And they're also likening this situation to scandals in days gone by. While standing tall, the wind turbines through rural Ontario can easily be seen spinning at a distance. These peak demand costs. Now it's the politicians at Queen's Park doing the spinning in the wake of costs being revealed for cancelling more from going up. The current estimate by the Ford government of $230 million could also actually grow to another billion dollars in, in a gas plant, to, in a similar kind of boondoggle as the gas plant. So what is the, the amount of money that this is going to cost? Their NDP leader Andrea Horvath now wants Ontario's Auditor General to investigate the cancellation of 750 green energy contracts after digging up a report that it could cost taxpayers at least $230 million. The energy minister now faces the fire, but didn't answer questions about whether the Auditor General needs to look into the cancellation costs. Instead, he contended the money is worth the savings in the end. At every step of the way, we've made prudent and responsible uh, choices, uh, and we've taken account for the potential uh, decommissioning costs. Uh, and I think that it pales in comparison to what we know the net present value uh, of those contracts are that we cancelled. Again, $790 million. Let's call it a billion. The NDP likened the situation to the gas plant scandal under the McGuinty government when the cost for shutting down generators escalated to more than a billion dollars. As City News has previously reported, the White Pines Wind Farm Project in Prince Edward County alone could cost an estimated $141 million to tear down wind turbines that are already built. This is about partisanship. This is about ideology. This is about making climate change an even more polarized problem when we know that it already is. Um, this is costing Canadians more money uh, than the status quo. So it's not clear why you would do this other than to say you don't care about climate change as a problem. Now, because the NDP has made the request of the Auditor General, she's not required to actually start the investigation unless the government itself and they, well, the government itself actually moves forward and uh, decides to make that request themselves. However, she does have the ability to go forward with an investigation on her own.